Hey guys, welcome to Whimsical Wednesday. I am so glad to be here tonight. I am outside tonight. It's a little bit different. As I was getting on tonight, I saw that earlier, Melissa um, from Top Drawer RVA actually did hers on her front porch too. And I had no idea until, <laughs> until I got on here. I was like, Melissa's on her front porch too. So let me explain why. First, let me tell you that I am Tracy. My business name is Tracy's Fancy and I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. And I come here, right here to this spot on Dixie Bell's main page every single Wednesday night at seven o'clock p.m. Central Time to share with you whatever projects I have going on in my shop at that moment. Usually custom orders. Um, and then a lot of times also projects in our home. Matt and I will do projects in our home on Wednesday nights. So, um, hello, June. Hi, Dixie Bell. Hi, Joy. Hello, sweet Rima and Shaz. I'm so glad to see you guys here. Woo woo, Valerie. We're here. We are outside. Um, I'm having a little bit of allergies, and as soon as I got out here and started working, my nose started running, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go live. And so I have like a little, I have like a little rag. <laughs> just in case sitting next to me hi sue hi there hey kathy it is it is a fun project so i know that over on my page matt and i have already done a lot of pots for you guys but we had a lot of mexican pottery when we both got married when we married each other um we both had been married before and we had very similar taste and i had a lot of mexican pottery however we are in san antonio texas so it's prime for that uh, Matt also had a lot of Mexican pottery, so when we got married, we had a lot of it. And uh, we just put in a pool in our backyard this pa at the end of the summer. We just put it in, and we were just prepping for that. So we painted a lot of our old, orange, worn-out looking pottery, and we did most of it in cobalt blues and patina collection. And I know we've done lives for this before, but I didn't remember if I'd done one here on um, Dixie Bell. Hi, Connie and Dawn and Maureen and Amy and Alicia and Janine. Hello, everybody. And Cheryl, hi. So anyway, um, Dixie Bell is doing a feature for, it's about 10 weeks long, actually, and it's really for the fall. I'm going to be honest. I'm not feeling fall right now, guys. I'm still not feeling it. I'm in Texas. It's hot as Hades here. Um, my shirt is very summery. My, my house still looks summery. Um, I'm not feeling fall. So uh, I watched the very beginning of Melissa's and she has her little her little doormat and her fall wreath. I was like, girl, I can't get there. Good for you, but I can't get there. So anyway, um, hanging on to summer, still thinking about my pool in the backyard and we're gonna add one more pot to the collection. So uh, I posted earlier today on my page um, a pot that we've done already. Um, I posted that and I'm gonna show you in just a second. But what we're doing is, is it's called Around the House. Dixie Belle really wants us to feature how you can use Dixie Belle not just to paint that dresser. It's not just about painting that dresser. Um, I've used Dixie Belle, I've done a tour here. There's a tour on uh, Dixie Belle's Instagram. If you go to the IGTV section, I actually take you on a tour of my home, inside my home, and I show you all the Dixie Belle projects that are in my home. Um, actually, there's way more than that now. That, that There's been a lot more since then. So you can use Dixie Belle paint on your front door many times right there. That is fluff. That's fluff right there. Fluff and three coats of satin. I didn't even use Skater Hide. Um, that is over Vintage Duck Egg, and that was over Terracotta. So it's been painted three times, Terracotta, Vintage Duck Egg, and now Fluff. So we went from a warm tone to a cooler tone to a crisp, clean tone right there. So that's Fluff. It is as clean as the day I painted it. It's probably been like that for about four months, probably four months. Um, it looks amazing. Uh, I've done all of my pots here in the entryway. So they were like, okay, so we're gonna start out with entryways. So you guys do entryways, I agree with that. Uh, your entryway is the first impression. It sets the tone for your house. It's sort of like your smile. It's like your twinkle in your eye for when people see you. So, hey everybody. Yes, Nancy, Nancy's done a toilet, you guys. I, I'm seriously, we are gonna go into the bathrooms during this 10 weeks. And um, I do have a friend that has asked me to do her bathroom cabinet, so I did ask her if we could do a live from her house in October. Uh, so I will be traveling to do some of these lives over the next 10 weeks because we've already done most of our home. So I was like, what, we're gonna do what? I've already done all this. So, but then I was like, you know what? Nancy did her toilet. I could do my toilet. <laughs> she really did, y'all. She sent me pictures. It looks good. It looks really, really good. So um, anyway. Dixie Bell paint is amazing. It is a chalk mineral paint. It is uh, has a great 
bonding ability. It uh, really, really sticks to absolutely, absolutely anything. And if it doesn't, if you think you've got a surface that is that is too much for Dixie Ball chalk mineral paint alone, they've got every kind of primer you can imagine. We've got primers for metal, uh, primers for glass. We've got primer for wood, for stains, for bleed through, for stench, for smells, for nicotine. We've got it all. We'll set your project up. We'll get your paint on. We've got top coats of every type imaginable. Um, they are a one-stop shop. If you're new to Dixie Bell, please say um, that you're new. And if you have any questions at all, just write it in the comments. Dixie Bell is here behind the scenes commenting for me and answering any questions that I might not see because I get to talking a whole lot. So, um, oh yeah, she'll, she sent me the photos. And Nancy, Nancy, you can share them. Just share it on your page, Nancy, and tag Dixie Bell and they will see it. It actually looks really good. Um, hello from Delaware. Thank you, Beth, for saying hello. Thanks you all for saying hello and where you're tuning in from. So let me tell you what we're going to do tonight. Um, I'm going to turn my camera, hopefully not lose you. My camera, my phone is always really funny when I move it uh, that we struggle with internet. But right there is a pot right by my front door. That was a very tall uh, very, very big. You see my hand? This is a huge pot. It was the terracotta color. Um, and uh, we painted this in cobalt blue. And then we did copper patina on it with the spray. And we did a very light dry brush on this one. This one's not as solid as all of the ones in our backyard. Uh, the ones in our backyard have more of a shiny look. The front yard, courtyard is a little bit different out here. We're a little more natural in the front. I'm in my courtyard right now. It's a big open courtyard area that's encompassed by bricks and stone on the ground. Um, so this one's a little bit more natural. In the backyard, they're very glossy looking. I know y'all probably seen them. You can find them on my website on tracysfancy.com. You can find them on my Instagram. I believe Dixie Bell has shared them before, but they're very glossy pots with gator hide finish on them. Uh, they've held up beautifully during all of the storms that we've had, the hurricane weather, all of that, the hot, hot heat all summer long. They've held up beautifully. So, um, Lock in in Florida, Hurricane Sally. Oh my goodness, I am so glad that you're here. Stay safe, please stay safe. Oh, we've got lots of Florida, lots of Floridians on here. Caroline's saying, yes, paint your toilet. Unfortunately, both of my toilets are new, so I was totally kidding. Like they're new, they're brand spanking white, shiny new toilets. It's because we've done all this new stuff to our house. Hi, Debbie. So tonight we are gonna paint a pot that Matt started feeling like, um, look at this crazy pot he did, y'all. It's needed redone for a while. Um, okay, so, oh, I need to move my floor mat. Hold on just a second. Let me move my floor pot. We're gonna do this one to match the rest. So, Matt felt like we were doing too much of the cobalt blue. <laughs> Guys, um, I've had a crazy day today, so I was like, oh my gosh, it's time to go live. We gotta go live. Um, Y'all hear that? That was an airplane. Okay, so I live right by a Snoopy airport. I live right by this like little Snoopy plane airport. And the planes, I could, like it was touching my treetops. And that happens about once a week. But did y'all hear that? Woohoo! I mean like a little tiny Snoopy plane, like a little one-seater plane. So cool. Okay, so I, you know what? I like it too, but it doesn't go at all. And he was like, okay, we're getting too much blue, too much patina. Let's just do some paint. Let's do like a Mexican blanket look. That's what he said. So this is all Dixie Bell paint right here. Um, this, as you can tell, I'm sure you can see, this is uh, Colonel Mustard right here, Colonel Mustard. Uh, hello, Connie. Hi, Ann. Hi, Tammy. Um, this right here is uh, Amethyst Purple. Um, this is Barn Red. It's not Honky Tonk. It's Barn Red. And then amethyst purple down here too. So Matt got real good with the water spray. You know, he did used a lot of water. Oh shoot, I need to get my spray. Um, he used a lot of water. He got really good at that. And um, but he doesn't like it. I, and I like it, but it doesn't go out back at all. It really doesn't go out back. So I told him I was going to paint the pot for this live tonight, and he was like, "Oh, thank God, thank you, thank you for painting that pot." But don't paint it blue like all the other ones. I was like, "What?" I already told him I was going to do that look right there. And he was like, can you just do something a little bit different? So we are gonna use, we're gonna use, I know it sounds boring, but we're gonna use white and gray. So I've got fluff and gravel road. Okay, fluff and gravel road, fluff and gravel road. I'm not using a primer. All I did, I did not even use white lightning on this, you guys. I just, I mean, it gets hosed down all the time. I just used a rag, a wet rag, and I wiped it all down. Um, so I am gonna start out with, 
let's see how let's see how well fluff covers okay because that's some pretty bold cover but the paint dixie bell paint has such amazing coverage it's heavily heavily pigmented and very full bodied it's a it sounds like i'm talking like about wine or something right um it's full bodied like a woman and heavily pigmented so it has great great coverage um, you can because it is such a thick paint. It really is a thick naturally thick paint um, I'm using my mini brush that's been used about five million three hundred thousand times um, But still look at it. Look at those bristles Look at them. Look at that like new just soft as look you can see how soft they are look This is a Dixie Belle mini brush if you don't have one you need to get one I put my link by the way at this uh, on this video if anything that we do tonight inspires you You can click that link and you can get any of these paints or any of the brushes um, that you want So we're gonna start out with uh, fluff on the top and we're gonna move into gravel road on the bottom Do a little bit of a blend in the middle um but we are gonna patina. So we did white and gray because we wanna do the copper and bronze paint with the blue and green spray on the top. And if you don't know what the patina collection is on Dixie Belle, you are missing out. Um, can you paint over gator hide or do you have to sand it down? You can paint over it. Dixie Belle products, the majority of them are all water-based and they work really, really well together. So you can layer paint, change your mind, mess up, boo-boo, oops whatever and just paint over it yes you sure can thank you dixie bell uh what do i use to clean my brushes the scrubby soaps the scrubby soaps that's how i keep my bristles in here really good so i when i'm done i put them all in water while i'm working like i have a big bucket and i just throw them all in there while i'm working and then when i'm done at the end of whatever project i'm working on that night i go into my shop sink and i pull them out and i take my scrubby soap which i don't have one out here but dixie bell sells them you can get them with my link you pull out the little scrubby soap they come in two different scents um, and it's got a scrubby on the back. I put soap on it and then I turn it over. Soap's on one side, the scrubber's on the other side. And then I just scrub it like this. And then I lay the brush down in the sink like this. This is, I'm the bottom of the sink. And I take that sponge and soap in my hand and I scrub like this. And you know what else I do? You know what else I do? I, I take it and I scrub it sideways. You can do this. You can scrub on these brushes like sideways. You would think you'd trash them but you don't and it gets all that paint off every little bristle and they just why can't you scrub them you scrub when you paint you scrub just like that you can just scrub them and it just comes right off that's what i do and if i really want to get picky i would like stand there and pull all this off but i don't i don't need to there i mean look at that okay enough about my brush okay so Let's see, let's put some fluff on. I'm gonna put a little bit of fluff on. I'm gonna to have to leave y'all for a second because I need to go get my spray bottle, I forgot. Uh, oh, I know what I was telling you. Look at that, look at that. That is some serious coverage, you guys, right here. That's one coat, one coat coverage, right there. And I probably will not put another coat on. Now, when I start blending, there's dirt still in this pot, guys, by the way. <laughs> there's still dirt in here. Uh, when I start blending, I probably will add a little bit more paint. And with you guys, I'm probably just going to do one side of this. I mean, I have it on wheels. I could spin it if I wanted to. but And I don't want to get paint on my new, I got my new shirt on. Uh, so, I was going to tell you about the patina. So, if you, don't, if you don't know about the patina collection, that's what makes that pot look so amazing. And my pots, if you will check them out, um, if you do go look at them on my website or my Instagram, you will see the patina collection at its finest on those pots. They look so elegant and so regal. And um, we, I just love that aqua color. So if you use uh, either the bronze or the copper paint with either blue or green spray, you will get some form of the bright aqua patina just like when you let a copper pipe sit outside and it, it just naturally patinas and turns like that aqua blue and some greens um, colors the bronze and the copper will do that now if you use the iron metallic paint um, the iron metallic paint with the sprays will rust that's how you get rust on purpose on purpose rust nancy you're so awesome honey thank you so much i know don't you love the shape too um Honey, I have painted pots with plants in them. Dawn, hi, sweetie, how are you? Uh, there, well, there would be a plant in this. I've seen your backyard, Dawn. You've showed us a picture of your backyard before. It is beautiful. 
I would have a pot in this, a plant in this pot if I could keep plants alive, but I cannot. That plant that you saw right there, that's the only plant that I can keep alive besides cactus. I can keep cactus alive. Uh, and that plant right there is from my mom, y'all. My mom passed away about um, tw uh, 12 years ago, about 12 years ago. And she used to send me home, you know, when I would go to Houston, she would send me home with uh, clippings, little clippings, and she'd wrap them in wet newspaper and paper towels and put them in the back seat of my car. And I'd be like, Mom, I'm gonna kill the plant. I'm gonna kill the plant. She sent me on with all kinds of ferns and whatever this ivy is. What is this ivy, guys? Someone tell me what this ivy is. What's that ivy? Dawn, you tell me what that ivy is. I don't even know what it's called. My mom would be so ashamed that I don't know what that's called. Anyway, so she sent me home with just a few sprigs. It is all over my courtyard. That's the only plant that I can seem to keep alive. Okay, so this is white. Now, you're probably thinking, why is she painting, if she loves color, why is she painting all of that white over what was, you know, bright and pretty color. Why do you want a solid white pot? This pot is not going to be white at all. This pot is going to be patinaed. It's gonna have aqua dripping all over it. You're gonna see a little bit of copper paint and you're gonna, and bronze paint. And then you're gonna see mostly blue, a very beautiful bright blue and green chemical reaction that takes place uh, with the patina collection. Y'all aren't gonna see that tonight because it doesn't happen quickly. It takes about about six hours total to get your full patina, but I'm gonna show you all the work I do up to that point. And then y'all know over on my page, I always post my follow-up photos. So you'll see this exact pot done when I have finished it. Okay, so do, what do I always say? Hold please, right? Hold please, I have to go. Hi, Trevor. I have to go get, um, oh, y'all are telling me the name of my plant. Coleus, is it Coleus? That doesn't sound familiar. Dawn, tell me what my plan is. I know I am on a super, super delay here. Oh, so chick, hello, hun. Okay, hold please. Do not leave me. I see how many of you are on here. I need, I'll be back in 60 seconds. 60 seconds, you can time me. 60 seconds. faster than 60 seconds. Um, ho host a family? Hi from Montreal. Hello from Montreal. Gail, you don't think that's the name of it. Someone tell me what the name of that ivy is. Okay, so I've got my water, my little uh, spray bottle. I still don't have a new Mr. Bottle from Dixie Bell. <laughs> have they restocked yet? Dixie Bell, have y'all restocked yet? Who's gonna paint one of their pots? <laughs> oh, Philodendron. Oh, I don't think it's a philodendron. I think I have philodendron out front. 22, 23, 24. <laughs> you were counting. Uh, I don't know what the name of that plant is. I really don't. I, you know what, Dixie Bell? When I painted my pots uh, in the spring, oh my gosh. I had so, I probably had over 100 people send me pictures of their pots that they painted in the spring. <laughs> a lot of people painted. It's a philodendron? Loretta, are you sure? So what's the plant that's got the big elephant looking ears with the big, they're big, it's big. I thought that was a philodendron. Oh, this is on here tight. Okay, this is my gravel road, all right? Um, oh, there's different types of philodendron, gotcha. Ooh, my gravel road had some, had some dry on it when I opened it. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to use my rag. I have to use my rag that was totally meant for my runny nose. Not gonna happen. Okay, it's not ivy? What? Are you kidding me? Okay, so let me get, here is, let me show you a different brush. Okay, I'm gonna show you a different brush. Here's a different brush. So here's what I was just painting with. This is my mini, and this is my medium flat, not medium flat, large flat. This is my lar a flat large. It's supposed to have an FL or an LF and it's covered up, right? Flat large and this is my mini. So really the only difference is these bristles are a little bit shorter. Do you see that? Little bit, not much. This one's a little bit wider and the handle is longer. So two things. This one is easier when you're inside areas, when you gotta get in tight areas. 
This one, the handle's a little bit longer, but if you have tiny little hands, uh, it help, this is a, bit, a little bit of a better grip on it. So just, you know, it's just a preference. All right, so I'm gonna use my large flat brush and I've got my gravel road here. It's a little bit of like a brownie gray. I call this a really good grayish, a little, really good grayish. And I am going to paint this on the bottom. Just like this. So we've done a lot of talking, um, but I'm gonna get the front of this done and then I'm gonna talk to you about how you apply the patina. So obviously, we have really good coverage with one coat. I can see one area on the white that's a, as it's drying that might be showing through a little bit, but I mean, really, so what? We'd have to put a second coat on. I just covered a very bold yellow and red and purple with white, so I'm not surprised by that at all. All right, uh, I'm gonna paint this gravel road on, and then I'm gonna get the patina collection over here and show you about it a little bit, but we're gonna blend this out just a little bit too. Okay, so it's just a really fast project. Super fast, it dries fast. These clay pots um, dry really, really fast. They just suck the paint up. They really do. All right, so there's that. That's, that's done, totally done. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of white, I'm gonna reactivate my white, okay? I'm gonna reactivate it. So, um, you, I've seen, Marie, I've seen your plant you showed used as a house plant. I wonder what that was, because I don't have a house plant. I don't have a live plant in my house. <laughs> I have a lot of fake plants in my house. Okay, I've got a little bit more, I put a little bit more of my fluff on my brush, and right over the edge where the gray is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of fresh white right there. Just a little bit of fresh white, just to kind of reactivate it, because the clay, had already kind of sucked, sucked it in. So I'm gonna let myself have a little bit of that. Then I'm gonna take, pick up another brush that's dry, just like this, and I'm gonna blend this out a little bit with my dry brush. I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go over that white and down into the gray. And then I'm gonna take the gray up, back into the white. See how the gray's starting to come up a little bit? and back down, and then if you want, you can wet it just a little bit, because it's sucking it up pretty quickly. Just wet it a little bit, lets it start moving a little bit easier. Do y'all hear that tractor? I think our neighbor's putting in a pool. We think they're in the beginning stages of putting in a pool. Sounds awfully familiar so, with all the tractors. All right, I'm just working out this one area, just so that it's not like a super definitive line. I just want it to be a gradual, and then I'm gonna take it up, into the white. I'm going to spray this just a little bit. I'm just misting it a little bit. Anyone see my spray bottle? My trusty spray bottle. It says straight water instead of straight whiskey. Uh, my good friend, and she was on here a minute ago, Sue Walters, um, sent that to me. Taking this all the way up into here. I'll bring, I will whiten this back up again, um, but I'm just trying to get that gray all the way up into here. There we go, it looks pretty gradual to me. So now I'm gonna take my white brush and I'm gonna go back over just the top of it, just like this. And then I'm gonna get my water bottle and I'm gonna spray this because I like it to run a little bit. So if you want to get some drips, but not like heavy, heavy drips, you can just use, hi Julie, hi there, Sue is here. Sue, you sent me this so long ago. How long ago did you send this to me? I really do prefer the Mr. Bottles now that we're using bottles all the time. Um, but they, I broke mine. I gave mine away. I gave a couple away for giveaways. And then I dropped mine and broke it. And then they were out. Dixie Bell, did you ever answer me? Are y'all back in stock with those? Um, okay, so then you would, if you wanted to drip or run a little bit, you spray it on, you let the water soak in, and now you spray it again. You wanna overload it with just a little bit of water. Just spray it and let it sit again for a second. And while that's sitting there, I'm gonna grab the patina spray, okay? Let me see what time it is. Oh, we're doing great on time. Okay. All right. Let's see if it's moving any from my water. A little bit, not much. Not much that y'all can see. I'm gonna move it a little bit more. 
So what's happening is this white up here will start to run down into this gray. See it, it's starting to move a little bit and that just keeps it looking really natural. And the gray may as well. I don't know if it's gonna run down as much because it's going at a negative incline. I'm not sure it'll run down underneath there. Um, Sally's Beauty, I know, Julie, I know they do, but I've worked, I've been fine with Sue's bottle, Sue's gift, I've been fine with it. I'm like, I'll just wait till they're back in stock. Yeah, okay, do you see this? I love that. I got a drip that came down into here, but let's say you don't like that. You just take your water and just move it. You just move it. Hello, Julie Ann, you just move it, watch. You just move it and let it go on down on the bottom of the pot. You can move it a little bit more if you want. Just add a little water to it, spread it out. You're in control with your water bottle. I call this painting with water, that's what I call that. Um, I love it. Okay, so that's that. Um, so now, with everything set aside, let's say I was done, I would have my big water bucket. I would literally throw my brushes into my water bucket right now, um, but I don't have a water bucket out here. Now, let's talk about the patina collection. So right now, because of COVID and supply issues and stuff like that, Dixie Belt, we don't have the spray available but the paints themselves are available. So like the copper and the bronze, these are the two that I have out here. Um, these are both available, but the spray is not yet. Um, and let me tell you where to find the patina paint when you go to the Dixie Ball page. If you follow my link, um, and by the way, you can just paint with these. You don't have to use patina of these. These are beautiful, just paint and left alone. You can paint with this and leave it alone outside and let the elements do it do to it itself. It's got real metal flakes in this paint, which is what allows the, the patina reaction to take place. We have reactive sprays, but the elements will do the same thing. So um, you may like what these look like when I start using them. Um, okay, so the, you go to the, you go to follow my link, it'll take you to dixiebellpaint.com. Uh, you go on, you choose paint, you choose the paint, there's like a bunch of different options. Choose paint, and then it'll drop down and it'll say patina. Well, that'll be one of your choices, is patina. And you click on that and then there'll be some options. There'll be patina primer, which we're not gonna talk about right now because we don't need a primer. You only need a primer if you're gonna be painting on metal because the primer will protect your metal. Like if you're gonna do a metal mailbox, you would wanna use their primer, the patina uh, primer first, uh, to protect your metal mailbox so that the this reactive spray does not keep going through the paint flakes and then all the way through your mailbox as well. I need a hole in your mailbox. So I've never had that happen, but you don't want that to happen. Um, but then you get your choice between three colors of paint. There's three colors. Uh, I love talking about this. There's patina, bronze, and iron, all right? If you want a blue and a green patina, you need to go with either the bronze or the copper. If you want a rust, a heavy hardcore orange, orangey and a blacky rust, you go with iron paint. That's for rust. We're going for a bright summery because I'm refusing to say that it's fall right now. If I were thinking it was fall, a rust would look amazing. Um, but anyway, so I've got bronze and, and copper paint and then I use both sprays. And I'm not sure that my sprays work right now because I never take, you're supposed to take your nozzle out when you're done and store it with, with the nozzle not in because it'll make your spray bottle not work. So I'm prepared and I have two little pots and I just pour the reactive spray in there and I use chip brushes and I just brush it on where I want it. It, it gives you a little bit of a different look when it's brushed on, but it works. All right, so I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna use both. I don't use any rhyme or reason for this at all. Uh, let's see, here's the patina paint and this is the prime start for metal material. So she's put some links up there for you guys right there. Um, Okay, so patina paint bronze, that's this one. And if this, these are new, these haven't even been opened. So they come with this little top on them. I don't want that to get on my pants. Oh, it's so pretty. Look how pretty this is. Isn't Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. All right, so I used all of my brushes. I'm gonna use one of these for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start putting this. Isn't my pot pretty? Look how pretty my pot's gotten while we were talking. So pretty. You don't use the water spritzer. Um, Kendra, I do. I use the Mr. Bottles, but they've been out. 
and I haven't ordered a new one. Dixie Belle carries the Mr. Bottles, but this is just a spray bottle that a friend gave me. Um, I did a faux wall with years ago based with actual copper paint with metal in it and the two different greens and blues. Yes, that's awesome. So you, you, I don't know, I'm not going to touch on that, but did you use uh, paint? I've also faked patina as well on, on one of our pots. I did that as well. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I can paint this bronze and leave it. So what I'm going to do, I, I do this to my, to my paint because it actually, instead of brushing it on so it looks like brush strokes, if you brush it on and you make it look like brush strokes, then when you spray it, it's only gonna highlight your swipes. It's gonna highlight those swipes. If it's up and down, you can see it. You can see people that are new to it and they, they, they like paint it on like an up and down and it just looks like it's been brushed on. So instead, I like to get a lot on my brush and then whatever area I want it on, I pounce it on and I let it kind of do its thing kind of let it go wherever it wants and plus it's thicker and I like that look so I'm gonna do this if I want it uh, over here a little bit I'm just gonna kind of see how it's dripping down there I'll be sure to spray that area as well now when I spray this it's also gonna run down but I'm not gonna spray it right now and I'm gonna tell you why but I wanted you to see how I put it on so that's how I put it on some's dripping down that's good so what you do in order for your patina, because some people get it and they say, oh my, it didn't work. I didn't get, it didn't give me what I saw on your video. You have to follow the directions. You have to put on a single coat. Oh, wait, I didn't put copper on. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta put my copper on. Okay, let me put copper on. Uh, you put a single coat on and you have to let it completely dry, completely. Because I put it on thicker, you're, you may be waiting a while. You gotta wait a little bit longer for it to dry. So now I've got the copper paint, which is equally as beautiful. I'm using the same brush, okay, same brush. I use them together all the time, so it doesn't matter. Here's the copper. Whoa, looks just like a brand new copper penny. Isn't that gorgeous? So now I'm gonna take my copper paint and I'm gonna just kinda add it here on top. So this way, when I do add my patina, I'm gonna get a, a little bit of variations in my blues and greens because I'm using two different metals. So do you see how I'm not brushing it on? If I wanted to cover the entire pot, I could cover the entire pot, then I would brush it. I would brush the whole thing. But when I'm just wanting to accentuate certain areas, that's how I put it on and let it do its own thing, okay? All right, so that is bronze and copper. Bronze and copper. Um, so you let this dry completely which like I said, it's thick like icing, so it's gonna take a while to dry. I won't even probably put more on there until tomorrow. It actually dries really fast. If you've brushed it on, you could come back within an hour and be able to put your next coat on. So the key is one coat, let it dry fully, come back when it's dry, do this again, and while it's wet, then you take your little fancy spray bottles, blue and green or one or the other, I always use both, and you just start spraying. You spray all over your metal paint. Um, and it will run, it'll start running down. If you don't like the drips when it starts to run, have a, a cloth nearby and just pat it out. Just pat it like that. Just pat out your the, the real liquidy, watery looking drips. Just pat those out. Just, you know, chase your drips. Just pat them out naturally, okay? So I'm gonna let this dry. Uh, tomorrow morning I'll come out, I will put another coat on just like that and while it's wet, I will take my spray bottle and I will spray it just like that. If my spray bottles don't work, I'm not gonna freak out. I'm gonna open them up, I'm gonna put them in this little jar and I'm gonna get another chip brush and I'm gonna take it like this and I'm gonna hold it right over it and I'm just gonna deliver it on just like you do melted butter or on a turkey or icing on a cake or whatever. I'm gonna do just like that and it will run all down it. It will do the same thing, same thing. Now you wanna go paint a pot. I am so glad, Michelle. <laughs> I am so glad. Okay, so that's that. I really like it. I like it. I like it just like that. But we're going to want a little bit of a touch to kind of go with all of the other stuff that's going on in the backyard. So, um, anyway, I hope that inspires you. I love my pot by my front door. I really, really like it. I love all of our pots out back. Um, 
I have enjoyed teaching this to you guys very, very much. Usually when I'm finished here, I head over to my Facebook page um, and continue the project, but I'm gonna jump onto a piece of furniture on my Facebook page tonight. I'm uh, gonna talk about some prep work on a vanity, a really cool vanity. So uh, that's what I will be doing. I will not continue on this pot um, on live video over there. So my family just drove up. It's gotten dark. Can y'all tell that it's gotten dark outside? Um, so anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Like I said, my link is up at the top of this video. It says, uh, of some, you know, DixieBallPaint.com, AFF equals, it says affiliate. That's my affiliate link. When you use that link to purchase any of these paints or brushes or the patina paints, um, Dixie Bell gives me a little kickback for that. You can also find a local retailer in your area. If you go to DixieBallPaint.com, their website, type your zip code into the find a retailer section and you can find a retailer that's close to you and um, go in and try these paints out for yourself before you, um, before you get them. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love having people over to my house. Um, and over the next 10 weeks, all of us brand ambassadors and content creators will be doing things around our house. So we look forward to seeing you some more. You are so welcome. Sue calls me sparkly. It's a love name. Don't ask. Anyway, love you guys. And we will see y'all next Wednesday. I'll see some of y'all over on my page at eight o'clock. Give me a little bit of time to get set up. Okay. All right. We'll talk to y'all later. Thanks. Bye.